And you know that's right. I scored some solid gold here. I got this at the convenience store. See, people don't think about going to the convenience store because they still got all this shit. Paper. Now, now, today... Oh yeah, while well, I was out getting supplies to be uh, in my house for a couple of weeks, I ran across these. It's back. Planet's cheese balls. These are the best. I used to get these at uh, Kmart back in the day. So as you know, I usually eat a lot of fresh foods and not canned stuff. However, I always keep a back stock of canned goods and supplies I can survive on in case shit hits the fan. Then I have my rices and pastas and canned goods together and extra cornmeals and flour and things to make me survive. It's always good to have a back stock that way if you can't go to the store. Everything gets shut down for a week or two. You ain't dying. And you got all my paper towels and extra bottles of water and all kinds of stuff in here. The good rule of thumb is always have you some canned protein. You can survive a long time off some protein and some carbohydrates. So always have that stuff just in case. It's important. You got some canned soups and stuff so you don't get tired of eating just canned uh, meat. I always have you a bunch of pastas. I got pastas bagged up in here. And different things so you can survive a long time and lots of rice. I do have lots of rice too. Have you some emergency food rations? See, this has got a five year shelf life. I bought this two years ago, so it's good till uh, 2023. Stuff like this. And I also have a couple cases of MREs put away just in case it really, really gets bad. Now, I'm not a survivalist, uh, uh, end of the world prepper, anything like that. However, I am pretty highly intelligent and know that. Don't count on anything. Always count on the unexpected. So I have a swimming pool full of chlorinated water. Plenty of chlorine for it. I got water purification tabs. So in case electricity goes out, I lose all my fresh food. I got backups. Uh, I got three bottles of propane. I got a bunch of butane burners and butane fuel. Um, just have yourself prepared a little bit. So if you're out for two weeks, three weeks, a month, let's say they close the country down for a month. Would you be able to survive? That's the kind of stuff you gotta ask yourself. And also out in the garage, I carry, I always carry five cases of water as backup just in case. I was thinking though, maybe I'm not as highly as intelligent as I thought I was. Never in a million years would I think I would need a back stock of toilet paper for a respiratory illness. Strange. Anyhow, if more people just thought about things the way I do, had you a little bit of backup stuff, there wouldn't be no crazy runs in the grocery store taking all the damn toilet paper and all the sanitation wipes and acting like a bunch of damn fools. You already have enough. You might go pick up one or two things, but you don't need to buy everything. Main thing here is... Just use proper sanitary hygiene and you won't be spreading diseases all over the place anyway. I don't want to go off to a casino. I see these motherfuckers in there taking a shit, getting up and just walking out without washing their damn hands and going and grabbing drink cups from the soda fountain, grabbing tongs at the buffet, putting their hands all over the slot machine. That's just some nasty, unhygienic shit. And those motherfuckers need to be sent back to some fucking jungle somewhere or some, you know, caveman shit. Go get in your cave. Use proper hygiene. Anyway, folks, thanks for joining me today. Hope everybody stays safe out there and uses common sense. We'll see you next time.